Have you ever wanted to share a folder from your host machine to a virtual machine? In this show, I am going to show you how to share that folder. I will be sharing from a virtual machine, which will be an Ubuntu OS, from my host machine, which is also Ubuntu. So it will be Ubuntu to Ubuntu. By the way, Ubuntu is a new need term meaning human or humanist. It's supposed to mean kindness and such I am going to share because sharing is being kind. To list the shares that may exist on this machine, we can run the net user share program. The net user share has a couple of arguments. Info will be one, and that lists all the shares that may be there. Long is just the long form. We see that we have no shares, so we'll want to add a share. To add the share, we still use the net user share, but we'll use the add key. Now, going through this command, Downloads will be the name of the share. Home RAID Downloads is the file path that I am sharing. This is just a comment about the share. I'm saying that it's host downloads. Everyone colon F, and there's no space between it even though it word wrapped. You have either R or F to choose from. R is read only or restricted and F it doesn't have an opposite of read only I think of it as free reign or freedom to do whatever you want to do and guest underscore okay either yes or no will say yes when we hit enter and now we look at the list of shares we see that it's listed there another thing that we may want to do since I want to be complete we can delete and all we do is give it the delete command and the name of the share that we want to delete in this case the one that we just added downloads there is yet another way to share a folder and that's through Nautilus you may like this because this is more akin to Windows if we go down to the properties, we get the property window or the property thing and we look over at share. We can click right here. We can change the, the share name. We can add our comment. Host downloads. We can allow, this is the RF choice or the guest access why no choice and create the share close the last thing that you can possibly do is from the same right click there's sharing options it looks a little bit different but you see that it's just like what we just went through on the tab again we've created the share now once we've created the share we can go and we see that we can list them and it's there. I don't want to delete it, right? Because I want to keep it. So let's go to the virtual machine. Once we have the share in place, we will want to change the settings of our virtual machine. And over here is the share folders tab. And you can add a folder. So we'll add a sharing folder. We can browse for the path, and downloads is what I'm going to choose. Okay, it has its defaults also, so I'm going to change this to lowercase d. Do I want it read only? No, so I leave it open so you can have read and write. And auto mount, which doesn't work, but I check in hopes that one day it will. But I will show you how to auto mount your. Um, drive at the end of the demo. So I hit OK. 
So now we're ready to go inside the virtual machine. So let's do that. So inside the virtual machine, we the first thing that we want to do is we want to install the VirtualBox OSE or Open Source Extension Guest Utilities. Let's hit enter, ask for me for a password, and the installation is pretty quick. Now once we have the installation, we'll want to create a place for the um, the site to mount to. So we'll do that. And we do that. Now we will be mounting to the host downloads. So now, once we have this folder, we should grant it some permissions so we can read right to it. So let's do that. And I'm going to be using 777 or group user everyone else. All read write. Lucky them. That's why it's 7. Last, what we want to do is we will mount. And the mount command is mount minus T option. And this is SF. I get this confused because I say this it's share file as opposed to file share or share folder. The name, well, I could just copy it, but it will be downloads. And it's pointed to the mount downloads. Okay. Now that we have it mounted, we can open it up. Let's go here to the file system under mount and we see that there it is it's mounted but it's not really in a convenient place so we go back over here to the command line and let's make a symbolic link and I want to put that symbolic link have it point to my my downloads folder so now when I come over here to Nautilus and I go home downloads I see the link to the mounted folder but one more thing this will lose its settings when you restart the virtual machine because each time you'll have to come in and mount it so in order to have it mount all the time every time that you turn on the machine this is what I talked about the auto mount we will edit the rc.local file. At the local file, the very last entry is exit zero. We want to put the command that we were using, this command right here, but without sudo, over to here. Okay? And also we'll also need to, to add um, quotes around it. And this was wrong. We call it downloads. Okay. If we save that, our machine will auto mount that folder at the very end. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. Click like, keep following. Peace.